Before we start, I wanted to tell you a little about a World War II pilot who rests here in WA at the Perth War Cemetery at Karakata. I came across his name having visited the cemetery last month and I thought you'd be interested in the story. Now, can uh, anyone tell me how many Australian pilots, fighter pilots in World War II were declared aces, that is with five or more kills? Give me a number. There were 85. And uh, a name you might be familiar with, Squadron Leader Keith William Bluey Truscott, DFC and Bar, was one of those as he had uh, put to pieces 16 Luftwaffe pilots in, uh, in Europe. So he ranks up there in uh, such illustrious company as Clive Corwell, Adrian Goldsmith and Patterson Hughes. And Blue Truscott, in fact, is uh, the number two Australian pilot. But uh, he wasn't a natural pilot. I think that was said of me when I was training. <laughs> he nearly washed out several times because uh, he couldn't judge heights and often rounded out six metres above the ground. <laughs> uh, he was uh, 26 years old when he was killed at Exmouth Golf. He was uh, making mock attacks on the Catalina on a day when the sea was flat and glassy and it is thought that the Catalina was slowly descending and uh, Bluey came in for a swooping dive on it and rolled out underneath but he didn't have enough room. And there is an account in the book of Truscott, The Diary of Australia's Secret Wartime, Kimberley Air Base, 1943-46 by John and Carol Beasley who um, have published accounts of this if you want to follow it up. And like Douglas Bardo, Bluey Truscott was a fine all-round cricketer and a fair footballer and the Melbourne Football Club have named their best and fairest of water after him and that still goes on to this day. And uh, dying at the age of 26, what a tragic loss. <laughs> 